Hi guys, today I'm gonna talk about Warren Buffett's $1 million bet and the lessons we can learn from the world's greatest investor. Warren Buffett is one of the wealthiest people in the world. Currently, his net worth is approximately 90 billion US dollars and he's considered of one of the world's greatest investors of all times. And in 2006, he proposed a bet to the hedge fund industry because he believes that a simple index fund could easily outperform the hedge funds over the long run. So he suggested that he would invest half a million US dollars to the S&P 500 index fund and that a hedge fund manager or more of them can try to compete against this index fund and achieve better returns. He proposed this to be done over a 10 year period. And yeah, this were, these were his remarks during the 2006 annual meeting that he had. And for over a year, there was no response actually. No, none of the hedge fund managers wanted to take the bet, but then only in late 2007, um, there was a hedge fund manager, Ted Sidus, who is also one of the, let's say, more experienced and renowned managers who said, okay, I'm willing to take the bet. It's actually for the charity. This was also Buffett's proposal. So they said, okay, let's put each of us half a million US dollars to our funds and whoever wins it gets the money for the charity of his choice. Okay, so Ted Sidus actually assembled a basket of five different hedge fund strategies and he said he was confident that he could easily outperform the index fund. The period was from the beginning of 2008 to the end of 2017, so 10 year period. And for those of you who didn't follow the market at that period, what happened? 2008 was the year of the financial crisis, the stock market really tumbled, but and this continued to t until the March of 2009. But then the market started to recover and the recovery lasted till the end of 2017. And actually, it's still we are in the bull run. So this was the, the setup. And now let's check the results. In the first year, so this was 2008, the S&P index fund lost 37% of its value. Why? Because it just went with the market. The market went down 37% and the index fund went down the same amount as well. The, the hedge funds, as I said, there are five different strategies, but on average, they achieved minus 24%, which was relatively a better performance. But hedge funds always emphasize that they can achieve positive returns in bear markets as well. So they can short the market, which means that they can earn profits while the market prices drop, but interestingly enough, none of the strategies was able to achieve this, really. But anyway, still relatively 2008 was better performance from the hedge funds. Then the market started to turn around. And in the next nine years, as I said, we saw the recovery. And in these nine years, the S&P 500 index fund achieved 258% positive return, while the hedge funds on average achieved only 79%. So this was a huge outperformance from the index fund compared to the hedge funds. And if you take a look at the whole 10 year period, we can see that the index fund achieved 126% positive return, while the hedge funds generated only 36%. This is actually three times higher return from the index fund compared to the hedge funds, which is an enormous outperformance. And again, this was Buffett was just buying stocks and letting them for 10 years, nothing else. Hedge funds did a lot of active trading, going in and out of positions, hedging, doing all the wizardry they usually do to try to beat the market. So what were, were the reasons for this huge, let's say, loss of the bet from the hedge fund industry. One actually are the fees. Hedge funds charge quite substantial fees. Usually it's two and 20 it's called, which means 2% annual management fee and 20% performance fee, which means that they take 20% of the generated profits. So in this case, the fees amounted to approximately 60% of the return of the hedge funds. More than half of the return that the hedge funds gen generated 
went away for the fees. But the, the interesting thing was actually that the hedge funds underperformed the index fund, S&P 500 index fund, even on a gross level, which means before the fees. And you have to know that, as I said, Ted Sidus is one of the more renowned hedge fund managers. And with his strategies, he put out, prepared five different strategies and he selected basket of diff baskets of different hedge funds. So these were, let's say, more than 200 hedge funds in total, the brightest minds of Wall Street with hundreds of analysts helping with the decisions and so on. And with all that brain power, they were not able to outperform the market even on a gross level. So the lessons here, the three lessons here really are, it is extremely tough to outperform the market, especially on the long run. So during the bear market, when the prices go down, if you will try to trade it, you will go out of the market. And of course you can, let's say, uh, reduce the losses like the hedge funds did in 2008. But when the market starts the next bull run, which we believe will happen in crypto sooner or later, then, People who will trade will try to yeah, go in and out, realize the profits, do all sorts of things. And in this, uh, in this uh, manner, they will just lose out on a lot of gains. And this is, again, also what happened in the hedge fund industry. So there are strategies which work well during the bear market, but not so well during the bull market. Another thing, if you trade often, it will diminish your return. What does this mean? Um, of course, there are fees associated with the trading. Each time you trade, you have to pay a fee. And fees in the crypto market are um, really relatively much, much harder than in the traditional stock market. So this will, this will actually put an additional burden on your performance. And of course, the more you will trade, the more mistakes you will also make. This is also the fact. And this will all lower your return. And the third lesson from here really is that passive investing is I think the most appropriate for, I could say 99.99% .99 of investors. There are some who can beat the market, but they're really rare and they have some other approaches uh, of which I will talk in one of my uh, next videos. But yeah, what we can learn from Warren Buffett and his $1 million bet, which he won and of course uh, donated to the charity of his choice is really that passive investing is the most appropriate for the vast majority of market participants. So guys, I'm really curious to know what do you think about this topic? So active trading versus passive investing. Please post your comments for this video. We'll review them and get back to you as well. Subscribe to our channel because we'll post many interesting topics in the future and you can find links to all our social media in the description below. Thanks and see you next time.